Hi people, it's me, Anya. My pronouns are she and her, and welcome back to my channel for a new book tag. So, as per usual, before we get into what this video is about, please remember to donate to Palestine. So, yeah. Anyway, this book tag is the Book Recommendations book tag. This tag was created by MG's Library, and I will leave her original video as well as her channel in the description below. This tag seemed pretty easy for me to do since it's all about giving out book recommendations, and obviously I do that all the time. So, yeah, I'm very excited to participate. So, the first question is, recommend a book from your favorite genre. So, if you didn't know, my favorite genre is fantasy. So, a fantasy book that has kept me on the edge of my seat is The Prison Heal. I read this book a few months ago. I think I read it in April, or was it March? I don't really remember. But anyway, I read it a few months ago, and it's absolutely so excellent. And it's so good. It's absolutely so awesome. So basically, it's YA fantasy, and it follows this young girl who, if you didn't guess, is a prison hero. She's been the hero in this prison, which is a death prison, if I'm not mistaken, for the past 10 years of her life. It's just her constant life. She's completely used to it. But her life and her job takes a toll when she volunteers in place of somebody else. And honestly, I don't remember who the somebody else is. But anyway, she volunteers in place of somebody else and volunteers to go through this trial of ordeals, which nobody has survived ever before. So you're probably wondering, why is she doing this at all? But you'll just read the book and find out. Because this book is literally so, so good. And I'm so excited to read the sequel. The sequel comes out this year, if I'm not mistaken. And also, this book is a first in a trilogy. So I'm so excited to see what will happen next. I don't remember exactly when the sequel comes out. I think it's before August. Like it might be next month or the month after. Like I think it comes out before October, but I'm not completely certain on that. But anyway, I'm so excited because this book was literally so, so good. The plot, the world building, the romance, the characters, this book literally has it all. And why is nobody else talking about it? Because this book is literally so so good it is so excellent and it's so awesome and it's absolutely so fascinating so yeah that's the answer for the first question next question is called recommend a short book so my definition of a short book is like anything that's shorter than 350 pages which i think is an unpopular opinion i think for most people a short book is anything less than 200 pages so i'm not completely sure if the book that i'm about to recommend is shorter than 350 pages but i'm assuming that it is just because it's middle grade and middle grade tends to be shorter than 350 pages but at any rate the book is hazel's theory of evolution this book is literally so so oh, good which i know i've said about every single book in this video so far but this book is literally so so good and i love it so much it's a middle grade contemporary story following a young girl who's aloe ace and it follows her in her last year of middle school I believe when her life like turns upside down for some reason I'm not completely sure why but anyway this book is so good Hazel is such a wonderful lovely curious intelligent character and I love her I love her so so much her friend group in this book is so cute and it's so wholesome this book is literally so so good and like I said why is nobody else talking about this book it's literally so good it is so awesome and it's so excellent and like I said, Hazel is a little ace, so we love to see it. So anyway, the third question is, recommend your favorite book to screen adaptation. So if I'm being completely honest with you, one of my favorite book to screen adaptations is, is Before I Fall, which is based off of the book written by Lauren Oliver, which is a YA contemporary book. And I really, really loved it. Like it would be considered one of my guilty pleasure books if I use the term guilty pleasure. I don't really like using the term guilty pleasure because I don't think that anybody should feel guilty about anything that they enjoy. You know what I mean? Like I understand if sometimes your favorite book is problematic, but sometimes just because you love a book doesn't mean that you're condoning its problematic aspects. You know what I mean? Anyway, I don't know if Before I Fall is problematic in any way. Please let me know if it is. But if it is, I'm not condoning any of its problematic aspects. I just really, really enjoyed this film. I thought that it really portrayed the book well. It wasn't completely perfect, 
but it was pretty pretty good you know what i mean like it was a solid eight out of ten so yeah anyway the next question is recommend a book that's out of your comfort zone honestly i don't read out of my comfort zone very often but a journal that i do rarely read all thrillers and i don't read thrillers that often because a thrillers have a tendency to become very predictable very very fast and b thrillers are often so slow in the beginning like for example truly devious didn't really pick up until about 60 percent through the book which is more than halfway so anyway a thriller that i really enjoyed from the very very beginning is the inheritance games this book is absolutely so good it's a YA thriller it's been compared to knives out which i finally saw like a few months not a few months several months after i read the book so i now understand the comparisons although when i read the book i hadn't seen the film yet so i didn't really understand why people were comparing the two but anyway this book is a YA thriller and follows a young girl who inherits a boatload of money and she doesn't really understand why because she inherits a boatload of money from a millionaire who doesn't know who she is at least she thinks that he doesn't know who she is and she doesn't know who he is and she just thinks it's super weird but she's now a billionaire for like no reason but she doesn't know why so there's that this book is so good it was so thrilling from the very very beginning it just completely hooked me in and again i'm so excited to read the sequel i think it comes out in september if i'm not mistaken and i'm just so excited to find out what happens next and also i don't know how many books are in this series so i don't know if the second one is the last one or if it's the second one in a trilogy. I think it's also typically White's trilogies, so I'm assuming that this series is going to be a trilogy. But honestly, I have no idea. Anyway, this book was so good, and I absolutely highly recommend it. It's so worth its hype. So anyway, the next question is recommend a book series. So one of my favorite book series of all time is the Great Library book series by Rachel Kane. I think that this book series is so fascinating, fascinating and it's so 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 interesting Rachel Kane is literally such a genius and I wish that I could meet her unfortunately I can't because she passed away last year but anyway this book is literally so so good so it's set in a world where the great library of Alexandria still exists which is the factor that I was so intrigued by and that is the only thing that I needed to know to read this series and it also follows a cast of diverse characters so we love to see it this book is literally so 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 good Rachel Kane is such a talented author like I mentioned before her writing and her world building and her plot and her well-developed characters all so wonderful and so lovely this book is literally so 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 good this series is so good and it's so underrated all five books all so amazing and so wonderful so obviously I highly recommend the series and it's so great so yeah the next book question is recommend a standalone so like I mentioned before my favorite genre is fantasy so I'm trying to think of a fantasy standalone that I really, really love and the first one that comes to mind is the starless sea this book is also one of my favorites of all time and it's absolutely so amazing and technically it's an adult fantasy which honestly i don't read adult books that often but i read this book because previously i had read the night circus and honestly i was not expecting this book to be better than the night circus because i foolishly thought that nothing could top the night circus but this book did it's absolutely so amazing and i loved it it's so awesome and it's just so good it follows this young university student and after he finds I believe his own name in a book in his university library in this book that's titled the starless sea he's wondering like what the heck is this why did i find this this is so weird so he goes off on a journey to figure out what the starless sea is Ellen morgenstern's writing and her world building is so incredible and her books definitely dissolve all the hype and so much more so i'm so excited to see what she writes next so yeah anyway the next question is, recommend your staple book. I don't know what my staple book is, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I don't know what books my subscribers associate me with. Like, I don't want to be basic and say, like, the Grisha Trilogy and the Six of Crows duology. Because, honestly, I've read so many other books than just those. 
and I've talked about so many other books than just those. And also the Shadow Game trilogy, I feel like some people also associate me with that. But if I'm being completely honest, I don't know what the general consensus would be. Like maybe the Glacia Falls books? But honestly, I don't know because I feel like I don't actually talk about those books as much as like other people do. You know, so don't really know what my staple would be. So anyway, the next question is, which is honestly the last question, since the last question of these book tags is just to tag people. But anyway, the question is, name the books, or rather recommend the books that got you into reading. I don't have one specific book or book series that got me into reading. Because if I'm being honest with you, I've been reading books since I was five. Or well, I guess since I was four, since I learned how to read when I was four, I've always just fallen in love with reading. So, yeah, there isn't one book that just got me into reading because I've always loved reading. So, yeah, there's that. That is the book recommendations book tag. I hope you got a book recommendation out of it. So, yeah, like I mentioned before, the last question of this book tag is to tag three people. But when I'm promoting this video on Twitter, I will just tag some of my friends. But so you can consider yourself tagged if you want. So yeah, you've been tagged. So anyway, if you enjoy this really messy video, I'm really sorry for how messy it is. My book tag videos tend to be messier than any of my other videos. I don't really know why. Although maybe that's just me. Anyway, the point is, if you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the bunny emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Donate to Palestine. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.